Okay, so this is hard to believe. Christmas is now just a couple of weeks away. <laughs> so Dr. Brashears from Ascent Audiology and Hearing is here with some gift ideas for your loved ones with hearing loss. So you have a whole bunch of things here. Yes, yes. Uh -huh. And I mean, you don't think about it, but if someone no. has a hearing loss, you can get some pretty unique gifts. Mm -hmm. It can be from alerting devices to wireless accessories that they can use with their hearing aids. Mm -hmm. There's stuff that your family members can use with you as well. So some That's of the nice. stuff everyone can use and it can improve the safety at home as well. Oh, that is great. Yeah, yeah. So what do you have here that you want okay. to show us? So these over here on the right, um, I brought just a pair of hearing aids, okay. but you can get different kind of accessories to go with the hearing aids. Now these are specific to Starkey. That's just one of the hearing aid manufacturers okay. I primarily work with. So uh -huh. I brought theirs, but we have just a basic remote control. Okay. okay, so if you don't use your hearing needs um, with your phone, then you can use this to change the volume up and down. Mm -hmm. We have a table microphone, so this comes in handy for, say, um, people that are still working, but also for family members at home. Say you're playing cards, this can be in the middle. That Aww. sound will go directly to your hearing needs. That's wonderful. Or maybe even when you're eating dinner with family right, members. Exactly. Mm -hmm. um, one thing I didn't bring today is a TV box, which is really popular. Mm -hmm. So the TV box, you actually plug into the television and you'll have it connected to your hearing needs wirelessly. Mm -hmm. So what happens is that sound will go directly to your hearing needs while your loved one could be over here listening to the TV at their volume and then you can have it yours. Uh -huh. so that's, that's, that, a that's a good a one. That's a pretty popular one. <laughs> yes. And then this last one here is called a remote mic. And so you can wear it on your shirt. Say you're a speaker up front at church and uh -huh. um, you can hear them if you're in the back. But I have a patient... Um, um, that she she shared a great story with me. Okay. She rides horses, and um, she has the gentleman in the back on his horse have it on his shirt, and then she wears her hearing aids, and mm -hmm. she heard him perfectly down the trail. So that was so exciting. So there's nice. so different way, many different ways right. you can utilize this. Yeah, these so are fun neat. things to keep you doing what you normally exactly. enjoy doing. Exactly, keep you active. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. Are there yeah. any things that would be good, like some alerting devices? Yes. Um, so with alerting devices, there going to use sound, uh, light, vibration, or mm -hmm. combination. Okay. Um, and so, for instance, there's an alarm clock that we're showing there. That's the one I have at mm -hmm. home because I have a hearing loss myself. Uh-huh. And um, it's it's very, very loud, so it's amplified. And it also has a little part that goes under your pillow that vibrates. You don't have to use both parts, uh -huh. but it comes with it. Okay. Then we have, um, that's just another version of um, say basically if there's a fire or something else going on in the house, like an emergency, it will alert you oh, with vibrations that's as a well. life saving. Oh, I know. Gift I know. right there. Um, there's different things out there for carbon monoxide and mm -hmm. dioxide um, where you can get something that flashes really bright. Mm -hmm. Same with a doorbell. You can get something for your doorbell. Mm -hmm. Say you're in the house and you typically hit, you know, hear it back from the back. Right. Well, that doorbell will flash your lamps. So you can have it set up to do different things. And you can mm -hmm. have them where you can control through your phone. So, I mean, nice. there's so many many neat things out there depending on what people need. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And many of these you mentioned are really life-saving tools. Oh, yes, too. yes. Things that improve safety at home because, mm -hmm. you know, a lot of times we not might forget that we may not be hearing those sounds right. because we're just so used to the silence at home right. if we don't wear hearing aids. Right. So, yeah, yeah. And it looks like you've also got, these might be good stocking yeah. stuff. There's a lot of just cleaning supplies. Exactly. You, so I decided to bring these along because uh, that's something that every hearing aid user mm -hmm. can use. Right. They have basic wipes. We've talked about these before. These mm -hmm. are different dry aids that you can put your hearing devices in mm -hmm. if they got exposed to moisture. Okay. Um, I have wax removal kits. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. And these are really great. Every manufacturer has yes. them. And they're little sticks. And it has a little guard on the end that you change in your hearing aid. And mm -hmm. these go a long way because they can help if you're not hearing well. Right. And you remove it and put a new one in. Usually it can solve the problem that a lot That may be times. all you need. Just right. Good, good. So these right. would be perfect little little extra gifts or stocking exactly. stuffers. Exactly, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so what is the, the best way to be able to find these? Uh, do we go through an audiologist? Yeah, yeah. I and mean, of course we're going to have all the stuff in our office. You know, accessories, we sometimes might have them in stock or we have to order them through our manufacturer. Um, some of the other stuff you may be able to find online as well. Mm -hmm. um, I order mine specifically through audiology.
pharmacy catalog, um, but I'm sure there's stuff out there in some of the pharmacies as well. Oh, so yeah. some pretty nice stuff that you can use. I use a lot of this stuff in my mm -hmm. office with pure needs as it is when patients come in for cleans and checks. Mm -hmm. So all this stuff is very, very handy. Oh, yes. This is a great list. Things that we <laughs> never would have thought about. Um, so remind everybody where you're located in case someone wants to maybe ask you more questions right, about right, some right. of it. I'm here on the corner of 6th Avenue and 9th Street. You can give me a call at 304-948-5565. Well, Dr. Brashears, thanks so much for stopping by yeah. and giving us some ideas for our loved ones who are a little challenged when it comes to hearing. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you.